Geek Citadel. Welcome to the Geek Citadel Q&A. We got four questions, so let's get right into it. Wicked Rob asks, what are your favorite YouTube channels and YouTube reviewers? Favorite YouTube channels? I, I'm going to be honest. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube channel dudes because usually the stuff that I watch is always like mainstream-esque, I guess. Sort of like if John Oliver stuff, I watch that. Like, like just regular stuff. I don't really watch reviewers. I used to watch the the, the Black Hole Kage, but uh, I watch the Game of Illuminati stuff. Now that they putting that stuff out, I just like to watch. I don't know. I'm I'm super pol- like like political now in in the idea of the of uh, YouTube and the way that it's changed. So. I like to listen to their podcast that they talk about how YouTube has changed and you can't really get like promotion anymore because of uh, popularity. Like the popularity goes to people who didn't care about YouTube, like Hollywood people and like, like people with shows and stuff. So like Jimmy Kimmel will be at the top and then like a new dude who's like the new Justin Bieber, you can't even find him anymore. So <laughs> not saying you want to find Justin Bieber, but you might want to find a cool singer or something. But you can't find him because he's not in the recommended or the favorites or even getting any kind of popularity. So it's that kind of stuff. I, I I don't really listen watch channels that much anymore. I guess I never really did. I never was really was a follower of other people's channels. It's not my thing. Malkhead asks, so what else do you do besides running this unfairly overlooked channel? What else do I do besides running this overlooked channel? Nothing really. Like, all I, uh, once I moved from Los Angeles to Spokane, I, I used to be in quality assurance for, like, video games. I used to work for Konami. I worked for Activision. I worked for uh, Vivendi Games. And then I moved here and... Well, let's just say they don't have my 10 years of experience worth of uh, (laughs) jobs here. Like, they have absolutely no video game jobs here whatsoever. So, I was kind of out of luck. So, I spent most of my time now just studying and schooling myself. And that's about it. Just trying to get something to get somewhere else. Because I guess now I got to adapt. It was an an adaptability thing now. So... I am doing that learning and school stuff. So, you know how it goes. The struggle, the struggle continues. Uh, (laughs) So, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And uh, obviously doing the channel. Nicolati asks, favorite company? Thoughts on Lovely Planet? What's my favorite company? Huh. I guess the easiest answer is Atlas for me. Right now, they make some of the best JRPGs that I... I guess I can get behind right now. Uh, Atlas makes my persona, and they make some of the best video game music that I can get behind in video games. So far, there aren't a lot of games that make me happy when I listen to music. Uh, I usually ignore the sounds, but Atlas usually puts the dope, kind of electronic, kind of... All the beats always match their, their, their games, and it sounds great and fantastic. Uh, from Dragon Crown, which has a great soundtrack, to Trauma Team, to uh, the Persona series, definitely. The Shin Megami Tensei, ga- Tensei games have great music. So right now, uh, I'm, I'm in love with Atlas because they put out classic JRPGs and just strange games that most people don't think about. And they really kind of identify with the Japanese culture and they release all the games that most people are kind of afraid to release nowadays because of certain things but uh yeah they're not afraid to think outside the box and release some stylistic awesome looking games so Atlas right now my current favorite publisher on lovely planet I don't know what that is i never played it so i might have to do some research and find out what exactly what that is so that's my answer to that wolflow asks if you could bring back any game franchises what would they be if i could bring back any video game franchises 
Ooh, that's an easy one. I would definitely bring back Chrono series. Like, not Chrono Cross. I'm not a big fan of Chrono Cross. A lot of people love Chrono Cross. I can't really get behind it. I know the music is dope, but it's not Chrono Trigger. I would bring back Chrono Trigger, the series, like gameplay style and everything. And I know uh, a spiritual successor, I Am Sasuna, is coming out, which it looks all right. 3d wise it has the same kind of gameplay but i don't like the character models as much but i'm probably still going to play it because it's that chrono trigger kind of gameplay style but in in regards i would like to bring back chrono trigger if i could bring back another franchise i would bring back uh streets of rage because streets of rage 2 is like one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time uh if i could bring back streets of rage in this 2d format hell if i could just bring back 2d brawling like that was like a fantastic thing back in the day I, I went to the arcades and i would sit down and chill and i'd be like man i'm gonna play some 2d brawlers today from punisher to spider-man to the turtles in time to bad dude i played all those games and now like that genre is just it's black like barely any games of the 2d brawler type come out i want some cadillacs and dinosaurs some alien, aliens versus predator bring back that style of game and mostly bring back Streets of Rage because Streets of Rage is like awesome. And that's about it. So that's the Q&A. Uh, the four people asked questions and that was about it. So if you're in the comment section and you left a comment and you in the giveaway, you are in the giveaway. I need to have a way to contact you if you win what or whatnot. And uh, I think some of the games are pretty good, like adventure games and the shooter game. Uh, some games I haven't, I've been sitting on. So I just want to get those away to people that deserve them. So if you have a way to contact you, go ahead and hit hit me up via the message or just leave it in the comment section. And I will get to you. Basically, if you're in the comment section right now, after like, like before I filmed this video and I asked you answer your question and your name is also playtality because he left a comment as well you are a winner of a video game so go ahead and drop it down there and let me know i mean drop it down uh, the information or send me the information and i'll try to contact you too via youtube or google plus so look out for that all right guys uh thank you for subscribing and hopefully we can get more content and more people to come in also watch your boy on twitch.tv slash geek citadel all right peace